product any product that is being sold by somebody else this can be either a physical product or a digital product and let us say you recommend this product either through your blog your social media channels your email list or a private group that you run and somebody purchases that product based on your recommendation that means you have generated a sale for that product you then end up earning a commission so the product the link through which the people buy it can have an affiliate code tagged onto it so typically you would get a specific affiliate code assigned based on the network that you join the easiest way to understand this is amazon affiliate marketing so amazon is one of the easiest worldwide marketplaces and you get every product from physical and digital available there and it's also one of the most preferred affiliate partners that people like to start with so you sign up for an amazon affiliate program you get approved for it then you start generating links based on products that you use and recommend in your line of work people end up clicking on the link buying the product and you get a sale based on that particular link and therefore you get a commission this is how affiliate marketing works how is affiliate marketing different from brand collaborations now in brand collaborations those of you who have done it before you would know that brand collaborations usually you get either paid in advance a fixed sum or you get paid just after the item has been purchased in affiliate marketing you typically get paid only if there is a sale of the product there are of course what what are called pay per click programs in affiliate marketing but those don't generate as much revenue as you would like brand collaborations are usually a short term and one time association with a particular brand which will tend to generate some amount of nominal revenue for you and it's a one time payout whereas with an affiliate you typically get to promote that item over and over again to a loyal and engaged audience and it's a repeatable form of income with brand collaboration you are never really sure how much to charge for a particular product review or a collaboration so rates fluctuate very widely they depend on industry they depend on best practices and very often you do not know how much to charge because each person gives you a very different answer in affiliate marketing the rates are fixed by the person who is creating the product or the person who is selling the product and the commission is also fixed so you would know that if a particular product is something that you are recommending this is the exact amount that you can make from it why is this important because if you create an income and expense budget tracker the link to which i have added in today's email you will observe that it is easier for you to track your income and expenses for the next quarter or the next year or the next month based on the amount of potential revenue and income that you generate from different sources for your blog so in that sense affiliate marketing is a fairly more reliable sense of revenue than brand collaborations in other words affiliate marketing is what is called targeted marketing brand collaborations also can be considered targeted marketing and work well if your target audience is extremely engaged and valued affiliate marketing works particularly well because you are typically reaching only the audience that is relevant to the product that you are selling now the more important thing about affiliate marketing is you cannot sell any product without building an audience and what do we mean by building an audience an audience that comes to you through organic search through absolute seo based practices or through word of mouth is the best audience that you can sell to how do you determine what kind of products will work for your audience you will have to study the market when it comes to your niche let us say you are in the parenting niche i speak from the experience of being a parenting blogger now one of the few things that i have done in the past is talked about a number of topics related to peaceful parenting positive parenting how to talk to your kids and so on one of the things one of the posts which does very well in terms of google or organic traffic is a topic called puberty talk or the how to have the adolescent talk with your tween now on that post i have linked to amazon affiliate products related to that topic which is of course books on books on puberty then a menstrual kit for your child for the very first 
time he or she, uh, for, for the very first time she gets into that situation and so on. So this is how you target and study your niche and create affiliate links for products that are relevant to that niche. So what are people looking for in your niche? How do you know that? How does your content produce a solution to the problem that they have? And then how can that in turn help you? So the whole idea of affiliate marketing comes down to two things. Number one, helping your audience and giving them the solution. Number two, earning a commission or revenue based on the help that you provide. So in that way, affiliate marketing is a very symbiotic relationship between you and your audience. So how do you actually begin selling to an audience or getting into the affiliate marketing mindset? You start by putting yourself in the buyer's shoes. This is why it's important that you try and get into affiliate marketing in a niche that you are most comfortable with, you are more familiar with and which you have done the research for. In other words, you have to think like a buyer. Remember, this is different from thinking like a reader because a reader generally comes to get information in general from a blog post. But a buyer comes with the intent to buy. So that buyer intent is extremely important when you are searching for your content on Google or searching for things to buy on Amazon or various other services. The next thing you will have to do is once you have decided what the buyer is interested in buying, you will have to create content which is built around that buyer intent. Over time, you will have to nurture trust with your audience and establish yourself as an expert or an authority in that niche and finally make the sale. So in other words, people when they ask me, can you make affiliate income with a limited number of page views? Is it easy? Now, I will be the last person to tell you that anything is easy. Everything takes time. That said, if you are able to get a targeted, engaged audience of even 5,000 viewers per month or 5,000 page views per month, it is doable to sell and make affiliate revenue based on your organic traffic. But the whole idea is you have to pick the niche correctly. You have to put yourself in the buyer's shoes, create the content and ensure that you are building the trust necessary for them to convert to actual buyers. That brings us to the end of day one of affiliate marketing. I hope you got some insights into how affiliate marketing will work for you. Please ensure that you click on the other link that I have covered in today's email and that is an introduction to affiliate marketing for beginners. It is a detailed blog post. Tomorrow, we will cover how you can use your niche, your specific niche for affiliate marketing. See you tomorrow.